Up front at 9.30 tonight, women in the state try to turn a best-selling fiction novel into a reality. As copies of Fifty Shades of Grey fly off the shelves, one man says readers are flocking to his dating website. Fox 25's Keisha Henry tells us about the hunt for a real-life Christian Grey. Keisha. Jamie, it's a love story that many are calling mommy porn for its erotic wording on nearly every single page. And one man says because of this, he's cashing in on women who also want to cash in. SeekingArrangement.com is a dating website that matches very wealthy men with uh, men and women who want to be pampered. SeekingArrangement.com isn't your typical dating website, but then again, Fifty Shades of Grey isn't your typical love story. Christian Grey in the book is a sugar daddy. He's a 26-year-old billionaire, very handsome, have, has, has a lot of money to spend on Anna Steele, and Anna Steele in this case is the sugar baby. Brandon Wade, founder and CEO of Seeking Arrangement, says out of his 1.6 million members, 186,000 are in search of a Fifty Shades arrangement. We've seen that in Oklahoma City, um, there's roughly 728 women on our website seeking their own very real Christian grade. That actually sounds pretty cool. Like, just have someone paying for all your stuff. As a fantasy, yes. I would dream of that. Sugar babies are glamorous uh, women. They carry Gucci and uh, Louis Vuitton bags. In the book, Christian Grey wines and dines Anastasia Steele and lavishes her with gifts. He was buying her cars and, and giving her an allowance. I wish I had one. <laughs> I mean, like, that'd be really nice because I'm pretty poor right now. But these pages aren't just filled with whining and dining. Christian Grey, he's a billionaire and he's into all these really kinky type of stuff. It's a uh, sexually explicit. Women we spoke with say they're not interested in that part, but Wade says it's all about the money anyway. It's about having a very wealthy boyfriend um, who can spend money and lavish a lot of attention on you, and ultimately the relationship can turn into a true love story. Now, Wade says it's safe for women to meet men through the site because they recently launched background check capabilities. He also says it is not an escort service and they frequently ban prostitutes. Jamie? Good to know that.